Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be the first of a series of video tutorials about uh, different open source programs that we can use for digital de design. And today we'll be starting with Inkscape. There's uh, many different open source programs out there available today and uh, Inkscape is the first of those which we'll be going over and we're going to show you how to you know do professional grade digital design with little or no budget at all since the software is open source it's basically free and we'll we can talk more about open source later but um, basically all you're gonna need is a computer and an internet connection and I'm assuming since you're viewing this video you have both so now let's get started talking about software okay well first of all what is Inkscape Inkscape is a vector graphics generating tool that you can download for free off the internet and uh, we'll explain more in just a bit about what graphics uh, vector graphics are and I guarantee you if you don't know what they are you're going to wonder how you ever lived without them so uh, let's get started on showing you how to get Inkscape okay we'll open up your browser here if you haven't done so already and mine starts at Google but we're gonna go up here to the address toolbar and type in www dot inkscape dot org alright and here we are we got it pulled up uh, there's a menu here on the left and there's a lot of information that you can read over at your uh, leisure this is how the website should look if it looks any different you're at the wrong place let's look over here at the top right where it says download now you can go ahead and click there and that should open up a dialog box here um, you've chosen to open Inkscape this is uh, it's currently version 46.46 um, what you want to do is just click save file and tell it where to save it to your hard drive okay well now here we are in Inkscape and once you have it downloaded you should look pretty much like this now what are those graphics that we were talking about the vector graphics I'm gonna show you an example in Microsoft paintbrush and then I'm gonna show you an example in Inkscape to show you the difference alright I've got uh, Microsoft paintbrush open here right over right over my Inkscape window I'm gonna draw a line for you here in Microsoft paintbrush and we're gonna see what that does by the way this was my favorite graphics program before I found out about Inkscape now looks like a line huh your eyes are fooling you click here on the magnifying glass and let's zoom in as you can see this is not a line at all this is a collection of pixels that are lined up in order to simulate a line let's see what Inkscape does Okay, here we are back in our Inkscape window. Um, let's grab one of these tools over here. This uh, draw a Bezier curve tool will work just fine. Let's grab it, come out here into the middle of our workspace, and draw a line. It also looks like a line. Now, let's zoom in on it. now do you see the difference it doesn't matter how far in we zoom with vector graphics it is still going to be crisp and s smooth on the edges none of this pixel stuff that you may be used to if you're used to using paintbrush these are vector graphics and you should get used to them because you're if you haven't learned about them yet you're about to fall in love So. Just follow along with me in our next few tutorials, and we'll get you started in Inkscape and you know get you up to speed on everything that you need to know about this program. And uh, there's plenty more to learn, so just stay with us here at uh, Learn Digital Design, and I will see you in the next tutorial.